Dirty Work Wednesday. Hello? Hello? Dirty Work Wednesday. Let's see Morning Zoo. Uh, I have a little problem. Must be out of mind. Call 473-104.5. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. What's the worst that could happen? Dirty Work Wednesday is on the air at 473-104.5. Hi, who's this? Hey, guys. This is Brooke. Hey, Brooke, what can we do for you on this Dirty Work Wednesday? Uh, well, I think this guy is playing me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, who is this guy? Who are we talking about here? His name is Adam. Okay, so you and Adam are dating, in a relationship? Well, we're dating, but we're not officially in a relationship. Okay. And you know what? That's the thing. It's just, when we started dating, I had this whole discussion with him. And I was like, look. I don't care if there's other girls because, you know, we're not exclusive. Just don't lie to me about it. And that's it. That's the only thing that really bothers me is just somebody lying to me, okay. you know? And is, is he lying to you? Well, so, okay, here's the situation. Um, he's got his group of friends that he hangs out with and they've been, you know, friends forever. And they have this kickball team and stuff. And, you know, whatever, that's fine. But I found out from one of his friend's wives that they're all renting a beach house down in the Outer Banks in a few weeks. And so they were like, are you coming? And I'm like, well, I wasn't asked yet. So I talked to Adam about the trip and I brought it up. And he's like, no, I'm going to go hang out with the guys by myself that weekend. And I'm like, well, the other guys are bringing their wives and girlfriends. And he goes, yeah, I just want to go by myself this time. So it's going to be Six couples in this beach house and him, right? So, I don't think so. E everybody there will be in a couple except him. Exactly, yes. Because he told you he wants to just go by himself. Yeah, but I don't think that's the truth. Okay, what do you what do you think is really going on? I think he's already invited somebody, and I wasn't supposed to know that he was bringing someone else. I see. Or that he was even supposed well, to go. Hold on, though, but you said you were okay if there were other girls. Look, I, I'm fine with that. I even said, look, if you're bringing somebody else, that's fine. You can just tell me. And he was like, no, I just want to go by myself. That's all. Uh -huh. Brooke, how long have you guys been dating? I mean, maybe he doesn't like, like want you seeing him get all wasted with his friends yet. Maybe it's too soon in your relationship for him or something. Well, we started dating at the end of January. And so it's not been that long. But I've been drunk with him and his friends a few times already. So that, that, that can't be it. Okay, so I'm guessing you would like us to find out if he's lying to you about all this. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Like I said, I just... I really don't care about other girls. We're not exclusive. I just care that he lies. Okay, let's find out if he is. Me now. The people who are going, like his friends, is there one friend that owns this beach house or or even paid for it? Like, who is the organizer mm -hmm. of this trip? It's his friend Mike. The house belongs to Mike's parents. Okay, cool. Hang on for a sec. I need you to give Adam's phone number to Shag, and then we'll call him when we come back. There we go. Some dialing music playing. Hello? Hey, can I speak to Adam, please? Yeah, this is Adam. Hey, Adam, this is Curtis Jackson. Uh, Mike asked me to give you a call real quick. I work for All S***, and our branch actually covers the beach house that you guys are all going to in a few weeks. Okay. So the reason I'm calling is because what Mike did is he put a temporary policy up on the house the weekend you guys will all be there. So it's going to cover anything major that weekend. So in case there's a fire or any major damage, you guys are all covered and none of you are liable. I guess you guys are probably expecting a pretty big party. <laughs> yeah, it usually is. Okay, so what I need to do is get everybody who's going to be there. I need everybody's names on the policy. And I got yours from Mike, but he said he thought you might be bringing somebody, but he wasn't sure who. I just want to make sure if you do that their name is on the policy as well. Oh, okay, sure, sure, yep. Um, so her first name is Jamie, um, and it's spelled J-A-M-I-E. Okay. And her last name is Anne. Okay, cool. And now, what is her relation to you? Is that your wife? No, no, no. Definitely, definitely not my wife. Okay. So, should I put down friend, girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> I, 
I guess it's girlfriend for the weekend, maybe. You could oh. put that. Oh, okay. oh, I gotcha. Okay, one of those. Yeah. I, I remember I used to have a few of those back in my single days, too. Yeah, I got a few myself right now. Okay. Oh, really? Is that a fact? Well, I guess you got one less because you just... I can't believe what a liar you turned out to be. Even after I told you, I don't care if there were other girls. Just, just don't lie to me about it, you Oh, snap. Hello? Oh, you know what, guys? Just... Hang up on this loser. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, let, let, me ex- let, me, let me explain what's going on. Adam? Yeah, what's... Um, hey, what, listen, I'm uh, listen right now. this isn't really an insurance company. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo on Z104, and right now you're on Dirty Work Wednesday. Okay. So that was Brooke, you just heard, who you've been dating. She was kind of curious why you lied about not bringing anybody with you on this trip to the beach house. Why I lied? I mean, yeah. Well, because if I told her the truth, then she'd probably just get mad at me about it, so... Oh, that is such bullshit! I told you, I didn't care about other girls. We had this whole discussion, Adam. I told you, you just don't lie to me about it, all right? And what did you just do just now? You lied! It's just because, listen, it's just because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't want to make you feel bad about it at all, so I just I just lied about it, all right? Like, I'm sorry for wanting to protect your feelings. I mean, sue me over here. Oh, you don't care one sh- about my feelings, you lying p- You only care about your own. Don't you try to turn this around like you're doing the right thing, because you are not. Fine. Fine, fine. Then, from now on, when you ask if I want to do something and I have plans with somebody else, I'm just going to tell you, okay? Like, if that's what you want, I'll just tell you, and, and we'll see how much you like it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, stupid are you? Why don't you think I'm going to call you ever again after this? You mess around with girls and you lie about it? You're an absolute zero in the bedroom? And you're the last person who still thinks chewing tobacco is cool. Bye, loser. <laughs> Well, All right, you, you know what? Okay, let, let me tell you something about you then. Okay, uh, Adam, before you before you do that, hey, hang on one second. I'm going to put you guys both on hold for a second. Do you mind going on hold for just a second? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> at first I felt really bad for her, but now I'm starting to think that she's like... Crazy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, me too. I don't know why, but like I thought for sure like he was the bad guy. And, do you want to drive all the way down to the Outer Banks with that in the car? Definitely not. And all the way back? We just attract the crazy. Yeah, she's cuckoo. <laughs>